length of the previous program, we now join the following program already in progress. Fox Sports by a score of 73 to 72 at Memphis. What a what a thriller that is. We again welcome in our viewers on Fox Sports who are uh, checking in with us after the Memphis win against Marshall at Memphis, 73 to 72. Air ball shot by North Dakota, rebounded by Ephraim McAdam. Welcome to Big Sky Conference play here on Fox Sports Arizona. All of you viewers watching that Memphis Marshall game. We're at the 14 and a half minute mark. Northern Arizona University hosting the University of North Dakota. We have a timeout on the court. We're going to take a break as well. 14:31 mark. It's NAU 13, UND 7. You're watching Big Sky along with Southern Utah for basketball. This is fun getting to see a team in conference play. We'll play them twice at a minimum. And Ephraim Ekanem is going to go to the line and shoot the big E. Free throw one off the back of the rim, no good. The E has struggled at the line, and that's putting it nicely, I think. 33% for the line this season, the 6'7", 230-pound senior out of Chino, California. Second free throw. Side spin, that one good. He must have wanted to show you that he can make that important second free throw. I accept that. Yes. <laughs> he did, in fact, make it. Makes it 14 to 7. North Dakota with the ball, left to right. Dribble hand off, this is Webb. Back now to a player that's checked into the game, Antwi. Lenny Antwi is out of Montreal, Quebec. And he's into the game now. Also into the game, Jordan Alred. And Alred with the dribble drop in the key, blocked by Ephraim Ekanem. And Mike Dunn, who's come into the game, into the front court. Yeah, the Lumber doctor. Lumberjack's doing a good job of stopping penetration. Dwayne Russell tried a running floater off the baseline. That was blocked. And then we're going to have a whistle on the loose ball and a foul being called against Ephraim Ekanem of the Lumberjacks. There's the block, clean block, by Doug Archer, who's also into the game now for Brian Jones. University of North Dakota team. Shane Benton, or check that Jamal Webb with the basketball. Now to Antwi. Hands it off to Anderson on the left wing. Anderson circles to the top of the key, stops at the free throw line to Antwi, who's open. Three shot, good, from the left side. The University of North Dakota, they love the three point shot. Good ball movement by North Dakota. NAU has to be very careful on their defensive rotation. These guys are looking for three-point shots off of penetration. Rogers goes strong to the rim and finishes off of the left side. Yeah, nice touch by Gabe getting that shot to go. Soft off the glass. A little bit of a hitch on that shot. Yeah. Did a nice job with that one. Here's Anderson. Look at this penetration. Oh, man, couldn't make the layup. That's too bad. That was a sweet move through traffic. Now here's Dwayne Russell. He gets cut off and has his pocket just almost picked. Gets the ball to Martin in the lane. Air ball from about seven feet. Well, Martin can't put the ball down on the floor like that. He just needs to go up strong. He's a freshman. He'll learn. 16 to 10. Here's an open three. Top of the key. Alred. Nope. This team takes about 23-point shots per game. That's pretty high in the Big Sky Conference, and they average about seven threes per game. They take a lot of three-point shots, but they're not shooting threes really well. It's about 34% from beyond the arc, and that's number seven in the 11-team Big Sky. Here's a three-shot. Bang! Three-shot. Gabe Rogers from the high right angle. Again, Gabe Rogers starting this game with the hot hand, something we love to see as Lumberjack fans. That makes it 19 to 10 Lumberjacks. North Dakota. There's a gamble by Rogers and a three shot from Antwi. That bounces up over the uh, back of the backboard and we'll take a break. At the 11.55 mark, it's 19 to 10. Northern Arizona with the lead. This is Big Sky Conference basketball live right here on the 10 lead. Our email inbox is open as we take a look at Jack Murphy and his coaching staff. Email us courtside. Lumberjack talk at NAU. Dot edu lumberjack talk at nau dot edu here's martin from the baseline nice soft touch jordan martin from about 10 feet yeah gabe rogers recognizing a split on the defense finds martin open for the easy jumper nau on a seven to nothing run now they get the steal done to saldivar to dunn 
Back out to Rodgers, bad pass. Intercepted by Huff. Huff will then be fouled by Rodgers well before he advances to the rim. This will be a foul on the deck. Good foul by Gabe Rodgers, uh, preventing that uh, potential layup or an and one. I don't know if we can get a shot of uh, both of the head coaches' shoes, if that's possible. That guy right there, Brian Jones, got to check out his shoes and we'll check out Jack Murphy's. Inbound, it goes to Schuler, catch and shoot on the set play, good. Check the shoes out for these guys. We'll take a look at this here a little bit later on when we can catch. Look at those green tennis shoes. That's all a part of the coaches versus cancer effort. Kaylin Boomernick, two-point shot. That was on the line. The big man. The important thing is I like the fact that Galen Boomernick looked for his shot and finished his shot. That makes it 23 to 12. Lumberjacks with the lead. You can't sag too much on these guys. They will jack the three. It's a little face-up jump shot miss. No good by Wilmer. North Dakota not going to the boards at all. Not following any shots. Penetration and a foul on the deck. Yeah, Mitch, these guys, you can tell that uh, they have great energy tonight coming off that emotional win. And they're involving their big men early, which is going to open up Gabe and Dwayne later on for some of those long-range jumpers. I think uh, the Lumberjacks are taking advantage of North Dakota's road weariness as well. It's a long ways from Grand Forks to Sacramento, where North Dakota played on Thursday night and lost in the Flagstaff. Anderson with the touch foul on the deck his first team three here's a three shot russell bang three shot dwayne russell from the right side and brian jones has had more than enough he calls a 30 second timeout for north Dakota venue in grand forks seats about 3,000. they're averaging about 1600 this year right in the heart of the red river valley north dakota moved to division one officially in 2008 Joined the Big Sky Conference this year. Ooh, nice play. Tipped the ball right into the hands of Saldivar. That might have been Mike Dunn's hands. It was Mike Dunn's hands, and again, probably the best defensive player. Three shot, Dunn. Bang! Three shot, Mike Dunn, the doctor, MD. <laughs> 29 to 12. There's Huff with the dribble penetration. Lost the basketball, and it's going to go out of bounds in traffic off of NAU. You think Mike Dunn might be having a little swag right now after that great finish where he hit that game winner Thursday night? Well, I like this guy, though, Huff, with his uh, ability to spin and penetrate in traffic. Long arms, long body, very athletic. He really attacks the game, Coach, and I, and I say that in a, not facetiously in any, in any way at all. There's a turnover. Saldivar is going to press this one, go off of the side of the backboard. And that'll be North Dakota ball. Saldivar got a little sped up there as he was uh, coming down after the turnover. Yeah, I like his aggressiveness, though, and uh, Stalin's doing a great job of moving this team in transition, looking for the early shots. Mad Max Jacobson checks into the game. Maximus. Stalin's got some interesting socks on there. Yeah, he's, more, he's, he's, he's rolled these babies out. He's got the uh, the lime green yeah. socks. Not the same green as North Dakota green. Charging. Player control foul on North Dakota. This team does draw fouls, and they also commit a lot of fouls. There's the replay. Nice charge taken by Mike Dunn. These guys look real focused tonight. They've got a look in their eye. They've got that confidence from last game, and it looks like it's carrying over to tonight. Guys, the Lumberjacks are on an 8 to nothing run here over the last 145. Here's Dunn. Three shot. Bang! Three shot. The doctor. Michael Dunn giving it the big three by the eye. The doctor writing a prescription right now for the Lumberjacks to jump out to a 32 to 12 lead at the nine minute mark and Jack Murphy has to be pleased. Yeah, this is a start that we'd like to see our Lumberjacks come with every game. A foul on the deck on the penetration move by Jamal Webb. NAU is shooting five of six from beyond the arc to start this game and they're on an 11 nothing run. This will be the fourth team foul against NAU. 
Webb on the baseline. Right side goes out into the backcourt, tosses it deep to Aaron Anderson. Out of the Minneapolis area, Anderson handling the basketball. Penetration. Jacobson stayed right with him down the right side of the key and forced the ball out of bounds. Yeah, I've been impressed with Coach Murphy's defense thus far. I know he will be happy with it as well, holding uh, North Dakota only 12 points. Our first email of the afternoon coming from NAU alum Joy. She says the best thing about a rainy day in Phoenix, watching Lumberjack basketball on Fox Sports Arizona beat UND, she writes. Thanks, Joy. Lumberjack talk at NAU.edu. Green Nation, where are you? Lob entry in the max. Write us to our email inbox. Keep it short and sweet. There's the jump stop and the left-handed jump hook from Maximus. It's good. That was a nice move inside by Max. He, con he controlled that ball and took it strong through his left hand. Wilmer draws a foul on the up and under off of the left block against Max Jacobson. Now, one of the first times North Dakota's actually gone to Wilmer and uh, produces with a nice move. Wilmer's got the right wrist taped up pretty heavily. Mitch Wilmer, 6'11", 236. He's a fifth-year senior out of War Road, Minnesota. They play some pretty good hockey up there in the northern part of the state of War Road. This is Wilmer's 74th career game. Free throw one is good. That breaks a 13-0 run for the NAU Lumberjacks. Wilmer really having the best season of his career at Grand Forks. He's got more points scored this year as a senior than his previous three seasons combined. Second free throw for Wilmer is good. Nice big touch by a big man from North Dakota. Even with the tape wrist. Geography major. Hits them both. And then he'll come out of the game and be replaced by Doug Archer. Triple handoff, Saldivar. NAU leading 34 to 14. Oh, that was a great look and steal. Anticipation by Huff. He'll take it to the rim and throw down the dunk. Good anticipation by Huff. Very weak pass at the top of the key. And Huff, who is in the top 10 for a little while longer. Seen that guy. There he is. <laughs> right at the top. And then look at number three. That's Aaron Anderson from UND. And then Dwayne Russell, Gabe Rogers, also in the mix. Top scorers in the league in conference games in the big sky. Huff has seven points tonight. Lob entry to Boone. It gets the good catch. Ball fake, layup good. Yeah, I like that high-low action and uh, something that I know Coach Murphy's been working on, and that's a great look by our Lumberjacks in the paint. Six points now for G Money. Gabe Rogers is 10. And that ball is going to get knocked out of bounds. It'll be UND basketball. Still like the intensity of the Lumberjack defense, Mitch. Uh, again, not giving North Dakota any good looks at the basket. North Dakota right now shooting 6 of 16 from the deck. That's 38%. 2 of 8 from beyond the arc. Good defensive effort by the Lumberjacks. They've also forced 8 North Dakota turnovers in this game already. NAU has only 3. Step to the right, three shot, mm. couple of bounces on the rim, and good. Shane Benton got the shooter's bounce on the road here in Flagstaff. 36 to 19, Lumberjacks with the lead of the ball. They're moving left to right across your radio dial if you're dialed in on Big Talker Radio. Bournick jab steps over to Rogers. He jab steps on the left end, gets a screen from Martin, hands it to Martin. Martin loses the ball. Huff comes up with it. Huff, aggressive, to the rim, the finger roll, layup good, timeout. Yeah, Huff shows great athletic skill on that particular move. Well, I like this kid. I've been looking forward to seeing Huff. You know, he broke his jaw in the season That's opener. A ball player. Yeah, he looks like a really great athlete. Like, he's got a very high basketball IQ as well. You know, I, I, I said it earlier, Reg, he attacks the game. Absolutely. Uh, in all phases of the game, defensively, offensively, rebounding, shooting, passing. He attacks the game. Yes, he does. I'm impressed. Great addition to the big sky. Huff and North Dakota. Here's the penetration. Pull up. Rogers. Air ball. Back tap to Rogers. Free throw line. Shot. Short. No good. Offensively rebound by Burnick. And out it goes to D. Wayne Russell. Not a great rebounding team here, the green and white of North Dakota. No, they don't have a lot of size. They got three to four guards out there in the lineup most of the time. They're being out-rebounded by about two and a half boards per game coming in. Rodgers, wow, Rodgers, great effort to 
make up for a, a mistake when he tried to pass that in the lane. There's the little floater with the right hand. Yep. From Gabe, it's good. First, don't see. Keep trying. Keep That's trying. what I like about Gabe Rogers. He'll miss a shot or two, but does not phase him. 12 points for Rogers. The Jolly Rogers leads all scores. And NAU leads UND 38 to 21 with about 5:20 to go till halftime. Huff gets it in to Wilmer. Muscles his way off of the left block. Gets the shot off. Won't go, but draws a foul against Galen Buernick. Now Huff likes to go to his right shoulder. Galen can probably do a little better job of getting good body position on Wilmer to prevent that move from happening. Wilmer, go ahead, Reg. Look at the size of this crowd today, guys. That's giving the, the Lumberjacks some great energy because the crowd is very enthusiastic today. Rainy day here in Flagstaff. Odd weather. Wilmer, free throw one good. He's three of three at the line this afternoon. But that rain is expected to turn to snow here in the next day or two. And But, boy, we have got a lot of rain, and people have uh, decided to grab their umbrellas and come out to the Sky Dome, watch a little daytime Big Sky basketball here on Fox Sports Arizona. Wilmer. Nice touch at the line. He's four of four. He is Wilmer out of War Road, Minnesota. The only real crack in Wilmer's armor is the fact that the man is extremely foul prone. We'll talk about that later on. And pretty amazing numbers in terms of fouls and disqualifications. Here's Rogers. Step inside the arc. Gets the bounce. Gabe Rogers has got the stroke. And he's had it the last three or four games. He has recovered from a pretty deep shooting slump. Six games around Christmas. Yeah, Gabe has really uh, been outstanding offensively and good defensively as well for Coach Murphy. Jump shot from the top of the key. That's a three-point shot from Lenny Antwi. I want to do a special shout-out here to my partner on Big Talker Radio, Joe Harding, on the Mitch and Joe Show, heard Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. As we see the... Penetration, the dish, and the layup. He from Ikano. My friend Joe Harding getting married today to his uh, lovely bride, Erica, here in Flagstaff. Joe, congratulations to you. Wish I could be there. But I'm having some fun right now as Wilmer gets the catch and lays it up and in. North Dakota doing a little better job of taking care of the basketball the last four or five minutes. 42 to 28 the score penetration bounce pass he can him power dribble ball ripped out of his hands by North Dakota I think Wilmer got a hand on that yeah and Ephraim uh, did not explode at the rim and as a result Wilmer got the block officials climb out and it looks like Anderson's having to come out of the game 36929 standard messaging and data rate supply And welcome back, everyone. Louis the Lumberjack, Scott is axe, ready to go. Don't worry, it's made of foam. <laughs> Coach, it looks like we got a zone here for Jack Murphy's Lumberjacks. Yeah, he's changed in the uh, timeout situation to a two.